My lady. Hello, Arthur. There he is, old Arthur. Miss Karen? The strong, silent, manly one of us. <laughs> You're drunk. This ain't drunk, Arthur. It smells drunk. Well, then don't smell it, you stuck-up piece of shit. God damn you. Take it easy, Miss Karen. At least someone around here's got a brain in his head. Hey there, Arthur. It's either reading or robbing with you, ain't it? A fella can do both. Think you can make this place work? I can make any place work. I'm just worried about the boy. Well, Mr. Morgan, I had your stuff unloaded. Thank you. I put you in one of the upstairs bedrooms. I thought that would be a little nicer for you. I mean, the place is a dump, but we can survive here. Yes, it's, uh, it's great if you love alligators and mosquitoes. <laughs> exactly. Anyway, it's left at the top of the stairs and head on to the end of the landing. Thank you. <laughs> Got you there, tough guy. <laughs> Just name the place, my friend. Just name the place. <laughs> You're all talk. <laughs> you keep thinking that. I know your type. There he is. Have a seat and a swig, Arthur. A drink in your hand. What a surprise. Just taking the edge off. Save some for the rest of us. Yep. Charles? How are those fire arrows? Good, thank you. What are these? Oh, a little different. Poisoned arrows. My uncle showed me how to make this when I was very young. Poisoned arrows? Mm-hmm. Uh, not very nice, but very effective. You got me some oleander, and I'll make you some. Thank you. Stay there, boy. Come on, pal. Yeah.
there, we good. Main right there, nice Get to running, friend. They'll be looking for you. Hold up. You okay, boy? Yeah. Whoa, now. I'm there. Good looking horse there. If you want me to keep that overnight, there's room in the stable. Horse trading is what I'm here for. Real top of the line horse you got yourself. Good saddles is almost as important as a good horse. Hey, it costs more for a reason. Bring that horse back if you need anything. <laughs> wow, let's cover some ground on a horse like that. Hey, partner! Howdy. Hello. Hey there, mister. How goes, partner? Hey, mister. Hello, mister. Hey there! How do you do? Hello, miss. Good day. Hey, fellas. Hello, mister. Monsieur. Hello, mister. You know a good place? Get some food? Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, thank goodness for that. If you're buying a chaser, take a poster. If you're anything else, take a seat. You going after Lindsay Waffles? I might be. Or I might just want to hang his poster up on my wall. 
Yeah, they're a bad lot, the Lamont Raiders. Stupid fellas won't leave good enough alone. One of these days, the government's gonna get sick of private militias, you know. One of these days, the government's gonna get sick of all of us. Don't tell them I said that. The bounty. Why are you making this feather someone else's problem? We, sir, are an urban police force. And the Raiders are, well, mostly a rural nuisance. My men simply are not suited for this kind of work. This feller in particular, Wofford, ain't it? Why him? You cut off the head, the body dies. That's the hypothesis, at least. We shall see if it can be demonstrated with the Lamoine Raiders. If the bounty's for this whole outfit, you should have made it more. Guess all the remains is to bring him in. What state they come in in, we'll leave to your discretion. you get when you cross me? Another soul going down to hell. What happened? Looks like he's worse for wear. Okay, off you go then. Let's get... Wait. Hold it. Come on, girl. Hey there, mister.
mister. Got it. Yeah. Help. Easy, girl. much in a sovereign territory, mister. Come away peacefully and you can live, Mr. Wofford. I don't know who this no account bound is like master. We lost the tracker! Keep pushing, boys! If you're lucky, you get a grave to yourself! is to take you in.
I'll come back for you. I promise. Sit tight. I'll get us to San Denis. I won't go there. I won't. Ain't really up to you, partner. It's an uh, abomination! Oh, shame up back of that horse. That's Lindsay Wofford. Thanks for keeping him alive. Uh, We're collecting that bounty. Kill each other, why don't you? Uh. Mr. Wofford. Now, let's get you back. Who's that warrant from, huh? Oh, the U.S. government? But it ain't valid, because I'm no longer a citizen of this so-called United States. Oh, this ain't de jure. The federal government don't have no jurisdiction over me. I'm a citizen of the free state of Lemoyne, and am subject to state law alone. Understand that, you dumb bastard? All right, girl. This is what this country's become. It's a cesspit. But does that... It's just an arrest, you miniature matted clown. The Lamorne Raiders ain't done yet. We are bloody, but unbowed. We will never surrender. <clears throat> Sounds like one for the lawyers. Mister? Hey, Waff. Don't like talking to you folk normally, but you're a Lemoyne Raider, right? So I thought I'd say, I'm bunking at your old place at the moment. Shady Bell? What? You the fellers that took the bell? You murdering animals. You savage Yankee bastards. You'll get your comeuppance, all right? You know, 
I ain't sure that we will. Almost at an end. Oh, I hope the night folk get you, you son of a bitch, and hang you from a tree. Yeah, this is it. Damn the police. Damn every one of them. Traitors. Come on. Hey, friend. Oh, you bastard. Oh. No, you're a traitor, sir. It has not been a <laughs> Got a live one for you. Well, looky here. We got a genuine Lamont Raider in the building. <laughs> Make the poor fella comfortable in one of our cells. <laughs> Bet you ain't felt the bed in a while. Damn traitor's bed. Get me off of here. Calm down. From the city of Saint Denis to you, sir, with thanks. Gracious of you. Chief, you get this fella out of here. Well, just go, why don't you? How do you do? All right, girl. What's your problem? Hey there! Hey, mister! Howdy, sir. Hey there, mister! Hello, sir. Hey, mister! Hello! Hey, partner! Hey there, sir! Hello, gentlemen. Covered in worse, friend. Ugh. Of all the days. Come on, girl. What do you want? Hello, mister. Hey there. Angelo Bronte. Hmm, no. But fancy name like that? Maybe try the Bastille Saloon. Opposite the park with the Quincy Harris statue. Okay. Thank you. with me.
Hey there, mister. Best up, girl. Stick him up, cowboy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, real funny, Dutch. Oh, I thought so. So, here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. And from what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here or none. You should say that. Well, you know how it is. I told him. I say that's the hey, of drink here. America's dirty little French secret. <laughs> and that's why we love it. Born and raised. Mm. Well, I'll get you in a second. Not unless we all get washed away. <laughs> Every year they say that's gonna happen. It ain't happened yet. <laughs> Let me tell you something. The rest of the states they over here. Us. I'm sorry, please excuse me. I, I, I seem to have some very impatient customers. Now, how can I help? You look like a whiskey man. Sure. Dollar, please. For a whiskey? Sure, that's the real stuff. From Scotland. Okay. Here, have one for yourself. Well, thank you. So, mister, can I ask you a question? You ever hear of a fellow by the name of... Bronte. <laughs> Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No, leave it, friend. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you in, but leave it, friend. You and your pal that was in here before. Bronte? Angelo Bronte. Mr. Big, Mr. Italian, spaghetti eating, long streak of piss, big. It yeah, makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally, a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you talk to them kids in the alley, they'll know I get. Oh, and friend, you, you be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. Excuse me, pardon. What's your problem? Bien, bonjour, monsieur. Y'all, I don't like to gossip or anything, but I did hear that Miss Mason's husband had been spending nearly his whole entire paycheck at them shows in the theater. It's really become quite the craze. So Hi there. Have you seen any kids around here? Oh, yeah. Just through that archway there. Hey. Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. Italian. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What it'll cost. I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. If you don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Oh, man. Some bad bread. Here. Come on. This away. Let's go, mister. You coming, Cleet? Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Come on, then. You new to the city, mister? Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope he won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baird and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Modeled on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. 
My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but uh, we all friends now. Isn't that the most beautiful testament to God's love for us all? Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine steeples. Hey, hey, <laughs> you little pair of shits. Let's go. That fellow looks angry. You give that back. Run. shit went that way. Thanks for the help, friend. You know, I kind of miss old Bob Taylor. Hey, you see a kid about 14 years old run through here? Why, yes, we did. He went around the Thanks corner. Thanks a lot, there. mister. You better stop right now. Hey! Moron! talking about, friend? I ain't your friend, but that kid is, and he robbed from me. Now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte. Senor Bronte. That kid was gonna show me before he robbed me. <gasps> Ow. Come on! You new in town, mister? Come on. Mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends, mister, but I ain't never seen you. We ain't friends. You don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why are you gonna care a thing about you? I just wanna speak with you. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. He been mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. Well, you and your friend should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, yokel. Now, get out of here. For Christ's sake. Morning. So hot. Please. You. Yes. Please. Coin. Please. Please. Look, won't you lend a coin to a fella in need? Hi, baby. 
Go get yourself something to eat. Sir, I want you to have this. Thanks, friend. It's nice to give something instead of just begging. I hate asking for money like a goddamn worm. What the hell? Following here in the dirt. Fuera de mi camino! Welcome, sir. Come in and have a browse. Ah, let's have a look. If you're heading anywhere near the slums, you should take a lot of bullets with you. Maybe you think about it and come back to it. No problem. You come back to it any time. Thank you. Really. More, mister. Hey, watch it. Yes, no. Hello, officer. Good morning, mister. Careful. Uh, you, mister, excuse me. Fine morning. Howdy. Carter, over here. Where you been? Getting robbed? Who by? Bunch of children. <laughs> I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently lives in a big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. Huh. Good work. So what now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John, you meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. I cannot decide which I like less. The swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way each to land we know, and far from real open country. Hi, ma'am. Good morning, mister. Nice day, gentlemen. Good morning, mister. Good morning. Hello, <clears throat> mister. Is there something else? Good morning, sir. All made to measure. Good morning, sir. Neoma. Things haven't been so good. Sure. Sold.
Yeah, that can be reinforced, no trouble. Help the poor. Help the poor. You, kind sir. Will you help the poor? I ain't so kind. Yes, you are, sir. You have it in you, I can tell. I'm a nasty bit of work, father. You're wrong on two counts, sir. I'm a humble brother, a penitent monk, not a priest, and you're a magnificent bit of work. You may have made some some poor choices, but which of us hasn't? <laughs> you have no idea. But you do, and God does, and that's enough for me and for him. We shall see. That we shall, sir. But why don't you hedge your bets and give two bits to the poor? There are so many who will go hungry tonight. Sure. Bless you, sir. How you getting on, anyhow? These are a somewhat apathetic lot, I'm afraid. Mm. My, um... My mentor says that America is designed to induce apathy in people. That's a wonderful insight. He must be a wise man, your mentor. <laughs> well, sometimes he's a downright fool, but, well, usually he's the best man I know. That's wonderful. The, the thing is, I'm, well, poverty will always be with us. But slavery, I, I thought we had banished that. Place like Saint Denis is acting as a staging post for shipping slaves out to some of the islands. I don't believe you. It's 1899. Maybe you should take a look for yourself. I've heard that the pawnbroker down the block around the corner, the one with the green door, well, they say he sells more than forlorn trinkets. Help the poor. Buenos dias. Howdy. Good morning, friend. Hello again. That was quick. Don? Hey, fellas. Sail here. All right, bye. Good morning, sir. Uh, buenos dias, señor. Good morning. Bonjour. Look out. Good morning, mister. Susan. Joseph. Hi there, mister. Uh, feel free to browse. Shall do. You timed it well. Some quality pieces in at the moment. Got a few paintings over there. Uh, something for the wife, maybe? Looking for anything in particular? A bit of a strange question, but you heard tell of slavers around here, buddy? What? Where are they? Who? People you're hiding. I know they're here. Don't lie to me. Please, they made me do it. I was always good to them, but they, they, they forced me to do it, sir, I swear. Where are they? Uh, the, there's a door behind the bookcase there. Just pull the big red book called The Scourge of Crossbreeding by Harold McDougall. I'm really not a bad man. Oh, hello? Shh, cállate, cállate. Hay alguien ahí? 
Por favor, ayúdanos. Help, please. Help, please. Now, now don't worry. I'm on your side. ¿Quién eres? Please, I'm on your side. It's gonna be okay. Gracias, señor. Muchas gracias. Come with me. Don't worry. You're gonna be all right now. I promise. That's it. Come on. You'll be safe soon. This way. Not much farther. Poor bastards. How may I help you today? Any hide you choose. Glad to see you again, sir. Brother... Brother Dorkin's friend. Arthur. Arthur Morgan. Come on. You were right. I found these two imprisoned in that shop. Oh my. That's... Well, they are blessed to have met you, Arthur. Trust me in that. They're very unusual. I don't think they speak much English. My brothers. Come. Let's go get something to eat. Manger. Comida, please. Hey, you forgot this? Oh. Yes. Thank you. I... Uh... Here. Payment. For your services. I could not have freed these men myself. Give it to the poor, brother. Thank you. I will. Like I said, magnificent. Come on. Come, come, come. Come see me again sometime. I often work at the old church on Gasper Street in St. Francis. Buy me a drink, mon ami. Sure, what you want? Brandy. Two brandies, bud. It's two dollars a glass. Well, better be good then. Mm. It's the best. Thank you. Santé. Mm. Ah, it's quite a country you're building here, eh? For me personally? Mm. I don't know. What do you do? Mostly, I just shoot people. Mm. How very American of you. I love it. What do you do? Oh, mostly I I pose, I show off, I complain. Oh, how very French. I know. <laughs> I am ridiculous. <laughs> I have been all over the world. I have seen the sights, and I have discovered the one eternal truth that I am a pies, um, how do you say, all ass. Mm. Asshole? Mm. That too. That too. <laughs> mm. Well, at least you have some self-knowledge. <laughs> Where were you on your journey? All the civilized world. Painting my little pictures, meeting the locals, you know. You a painter? No. I'm a whole ass. I thought we had covered this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, mm. but you paint. Not according to the salons at Paris. No. According to them, I cannot draw, I cannot paint, and I should go away. And so I went away. You miss Paris? Hmm, that smelly, filthy place with old buildings and ghosts and shit and French people. I have that right here. Hmm? I guess so. Hmm. You know, uh... Arthur. Charles, you know, Arthur, don't believe in art. Hmm. It's lies. Believe in women. They are the truth. Art is lies, but the vagina... That is truth. Breasts is truth. Art is for idiots. If you say so. Oh, trust me, I've tried both. One is better. Much better. Hmm. 
<sighs> so, I uh, must be boring you, uh, but here. What is it? Uh, it's just a little doodle. Uh, you know, entirely worthless, unless you want to wipe your bottom with it. But I wanted to say thank you for the drinks. Well, that's very kind, Charles. Mm, no matter. Good meeting you. Mm. That's good, girl. Hey there, partner. Hello. Listen, a bit of a weird question, but do you know where I might find some moonshine? What? Moonshine. You no, know, strong liquor. Over strong. Wow, you want to get over drunk? <laughs> no, no, it's not for drinking. <laughs> what is it for? Oh, I just need some. Well, as luck would have it, you are in the legal hooch capital of America. Ooh. There's plenty of real booze here. <laughs> but for shine, well... I'm guessing you'd need to go out into the woods. I mean, I know you'd have to go out into the woods. Now listen, I don't need that much. How much? About a hundred gallons. Oh, shine? Sure? Yes, thereabouts. Why? Oh, all right, I'm trying. I'm building a machine. A machine of love. <laughs> hundred gallons of hooch and love's gonna come pretty cheap. Please, friend. I'll pay. Just, just, just bring it here. It's for good cause. Well, if anyone knows who's moving that kind of shine, it'll be that stagecoach guy in Rhodes. You okay, boy? Hey there. Partner? Hey, partner. Hello. Yeah, good girl.
partner. Hello there. place i got away but they got my wife please mister you got it all right where is she it's a sack down in the swamp by the water <laughs> uh, in the sack there. It ain't enough, but please take it. You're all right now, ma'am. It's over. Let's hope my Horace found another guardian angel like you. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you again. You my guardian angel. Appreciate it. Good luck to you.
Mr. Morgan. Still working, Mr. Strauss. What you been up to? Trying to wrap up our accounts before we leave, Mr. Morgan. So you'll be joining us in Tahiti? I uh, rather fancied Australia. A similar kind of people to us. Lots of opportunity. That tells me we're <laughs> going to be ranchers. Perhaps, but um, so far we have not raised many cattle. No. So, Mr. Morgan, will you help me finalize our business here? <coughs> this is filthy work. We'll need money in Australia. Uh, for cattle and feed, I mean. Why flinch now? You never have done before. I don't know. Well, here they are. Some fishermen by the name of Davison, Algy Davison, living in a place called Catfish Jackson near Scarlet Meadows. A fisherman. And that's it. We're a union built on that, you know. It, okay. Looks fit as a fiddle. All seems quiet, Charles. Yep. Okay, then. Big bastard. Get in position. Get out! Open up! Ah! Ah! Come on, you 
You doing good, girl. Here, girl. Yep. Easy now. a damn good reason for being on my property, mister. You remember that loan you took, Mr. Davison? Well, time's long since up. I'm here to collect. Oh, I should have known. You goddamn bludgeon men are all the same. Sure, sure, I got your money. Every stinking cent. It's in the house. Hell, I'll even offer you a drink. We can toast to never laying eyes on each other again. I got a powerful thirst on me right now. How about you? Well, you gotta be stinking drunk already to do this kind of work. Uh, I like doing it sober. You take my money, surely you take a drink off me as well. That would be the manly thing to do. Let's just handle the money first. Worry about manners later, okay? I could be fishing. You were catching flies, you weren't catching fish. Now come on, let's get us that debt. Well, this is as fast as I can go. Someone's here, boy. Huh? Wait, what's going on? Don't just stand there. Go fix us a drink. Another one, Pop? Don't give me no talk, boy. Just do it. I'll look down here for our savings. Savings? Under the sink? Best place for them. Now, where's them drinks, boy? Drinks ready. It's right there, miss. Shouldn't have turned your back on me, you parasite. Bludgeon, man. <laughs> ah! 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 Son, I want to get out of here, but I can't until I find some money. There's some in my footlocker. I I've been keeping it away from him. I ain't that lucky. I think I know the sum, and that should cover it. Ain't you the good son? You should be proud of yourself.
Okay, girl. His fault, the darky white. Although I don't know why they call him that. Look at him. Don't you start now. I'll knock the color clean off you. Come right, on. And I'll tell right. you, you lily livid. Enough. Huh. You two fools look like you've just run off a chain gang. Yeah, what of it? What are you doing? Starving. They got bounty posters for us all over town. And we can't go into town to get supplies. Say, mister, maybe you can do us fools a favor. We ain't bad guys at all. He's okay, even for a darky. Shut it, you pasty face streak of piss. Yeah, I had it up to here with you. Enough. Do your goddamn favor what you want. Maybe you can go into town and take down them wanted posters of us. <sighs> okay. Maybe meet us back at the campfire in the woods and tell us how you did. Uh, maybe bring us a little bite to eat. Don't push your luck. Nice fella. Yeah, you love nice fellas. Don't you start up again. Just shut up. You shut up! Hey, I need to get to that poster behind you. Would you move a little? <laughs> I will not. Deputy put up plenty. Go get one of those. Please, mister. I'll just reach by. It won't take but a second. I'm leaning on it. Find one that ain't in use. Get out of here. Now. No respect for your elders. You worthless son of a bitch! The man's a menace! Howdy. Sir, good morning. Can't beat this weather. There's nothing like it. Let's hope it continues. See you soon. They ain't as bad as you made out there. Bad. They were still worse. You always was one for gossip. Hey, we're looking for some escapees. Got posters all over town if you'd like to help. Hello. Couple fellers missing. Got posters up all over town. Jimmy Holdaker had a weak heart. He died of a heart attack. Whiskey and sunshine don't mix. And Samson Black was set up. Morning, partner. Mr. Black and Mr. White. Interesting. Mr. I need that mm -hmm. poster. There's been a recall. I weren't born yesterday. Oh, no, you hey, don't. Horse, mister. God in heaven. Hey there, partner. Good morning to you. <clears throat> Mister? Hello. Run! 
raiders fought tooth and nail for this territory. And here's you just strolling through. You the local hard man, huh? I killed a lot of folk to keep this town free. Happy to add you to the list. <laughs> Suicidal. You're back here. Well, you don't want to mess with me. No, no, this don't shit ain't. Don't make this difficult. Quit this nonsense now. This ain't a discussion. Just get out of here. Mister? Well, how do you do, sir? Oh. Well, now, the absent traveler returns. Now, how can I ease your troubles? See you next time. Hello, friend. Uh, I don't mean to pry, but, uh, well, you look like something of rough and tumble type. Them two families need to sit down, have a meal, and Morning. Morning. Morning to you. Hello. Did you hear about that gunfight out in the cornfield by Braithwaite Manor? Hey, friend. Just visiting old friends, I guess. Well, you better get out of here. There's a, there's a bunch of government agents I met asking about you all across town. Yeah, them and a bunch of bounty hunters, too, I think. Uh, so? Yeah. Yeah, but you don't seem too scared. 
Guess not. Well, they seem pretty mad. <laughs> What'd you do? Nothing good. <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, you better get out of here. <laughs> Hey there, folks. Just what in the hell's Good the problem God. here? Good morning to you, sir. Howdy. Well, howdy. Will be you change your mind. while since you were last here. Take a look. Any questions, feel free not to ask. I'll have my eyes on you every second you're in here, feet. Hey, mister. Morning, partner. What's the hey matter there. with you? Hey, fellas. Christ! I was in town. Pretty hot. There's quite a price on you boys. It is so unfair. I, I didn't do nothing. Well, they said you was wanted for murder. It wasn't murder. It was self-defense. And you killed a farmer? Well, firstly, I would have, but he died before I could. And secondly, well, he had it coming. He... I don't like to say. Well... Sorry about this, gentlemen, but I need the money. You boys are coming with me! God damn! Run! Get away from me! Off me! Off me! The sheriff's pleased to see you, eh? Uh. I'll, I'll, sp I'll, I'll spit in his eye, and I'll spit on you when I get the chance. <laughs> With self-defense. Whatever it was, is your business. Uh. Mine's the reward money. Uh, I should have known what you was when I, when I saw you. It ain't too late. Let me go. Got one of those fellers ran off the chain gang. I knew they was around here. Put them in the cell. Can you believe 
The other one will be in shortly. Good work, son. Damn you to hell! Let's get you to the jailhouse. You know... You know what they'll do to me? For killing a bastard that needed a killing? There's you thinking I care about anything other than the price on your head. Cold... Cold bastard! I am staying out of this. We're going for a walk. Uh, let's get this over with. Two makes a pair. Well done, sir. Well done. Put them in the cell for me. Only thing I'm guilty of is trusting a greedy, no good traitor. You tell them if they send me back to the chain gang, I'll cut up another guard. That's the price for the two escaped convicts. You know, they were all right fellers, so this will weigh heavy on me. But the coins will help. It wasn't for that bastard who brought me here. Can't believe I'm stuck be more in another careful. cell with you. Oh, I Apologies. I'd be more careful of how you treat people. Hello. You need a ride somewhere? Hey, mister. Hey, sir. Ain't going till you get this right. I can't, Daddy. Please let him in. He's been trying for hours. Yep, yep. He ain't no kind of man till he can get on a horse. <laughs> <gasps> They're here for your bounty. <gasps> oh, come to Mama, boy. <gasps> Don't shoot. I'm unarmed. We knew you was coming. I got something to ask. 
I'm a changed man, okay? Let me say my farewells. I'll come away peaceable. Make it quick. You're a forgiving man. Boy. Boy, come here. Listen. Exactly as I say. You hear? Don't... Don't leave us, Pop. I ain't gonna fight you in front of my family. Okay? If you wanna take me, take me. It's like that, is it? Get the boy out of here. quiet back there. Most captured men, they beg or they cry or they rail against fate. Love made my peace. That son of a bitch. Come back. Oh, no, you don't. Damn. There we go. Tom, how's that? This is uh, very kind of you. Here we go. Now, what was the point in all that? Could have got your neck broke prematurely. Like the boy said. Let him go back to his family. Okay. You're gonna have trouble with us. Shot of me. I'm ready. I hope they make it quick. Move your ass. Good work, girl. All right, let's go. Hey, mister. Some folk. Mister. About time somebody detained that fool. Found this fella on a small holding. Name's Mark Johnson. You can only run so long, son. There's your cell. You're lucky it's not a grave. I was out in the bayou. Wasn't hurting no one. Maybe you weren't, but those partners of yours were a rough bunch. That's the price for Johnson. I didn't take it, someone else would have. You 
tell yourself that, bounty hunter. You ain't whiter than white. I hope your past catches up with you. We all deserve second chances, every one of us. Come on, girl. Partner? Uh, hey there, partner. Hello. Hey, mister! Need of a coach? Won't take long. Hello, mister. Well, howdy now. I can't seem to catch a break today. Sit here, there. Hello. Hello there. Gentlemen. Hello there. Well, hello there. Glad you dropped in. I've got that, uh, information you asked for. Um, I need something more specific this time. A wagon full of moonshine. Well, you might just be in luck. I knew I picked the right feather to speak to. Cars are still unkind. I've been waiting on that winning streak for some time. Yep. You had a lucky day last time. Want to stack up? <laughs> Woo! Got fresh rounds in my rifle and strong coffee in my gut. What'd you say to another game? Won't say no. Let's fire off a few. Happy days. Just like last time, whoever shoots the most bottles wins. All right, stand alongside me. Soon as you pull your weapon and aim, we let fly. Okay. Go. You see that? Uh, ah. You ain't lost to losing, I take it. Uh, well, now I'm miserable. All right, let's raise the stakes. You're on. Go again. Well, that's what I like to hear. We'll do the birds again. First to knock four out of heaven, gets the win. Stand close. As soon as you see him, start shooting. Wait for it. There they go now, shoot! I'll give you that one. 
Here you go. As promised. Thanks, friend. Careful now. Next I time I may not hold back. This uh, just had the edge in the end. Yeah, right. Enjoy your win while it lasts. Yep. Just shine. There we go. Yeah. Who we got here? Got your moonshot! 
You're a wonderful man. Wonderful. <laughs> you got my money? Uh, it's, it's for a very good cause. Uh, my name is Professor Andrew Bell III. Perhaps you've heard of me. <laughs> Can't say that I have. Oh, I'm an inventor. Uh, maybe you've read about me. <laughs> uh, I don't read much. Oh, oh, well, that's too bad. Oh, yes. <laughs> you got my money? <clears throat> oh, well, it is the most wonderful invention, friend. Oh, you, sir, have done a great All deed. All I've done is get some creep a lot of drink. <laughs> creep is excellent. No, nonsense. Now, you've helped me develop the most humane machine imaginable. A way to induce calmness to our most troubled souls. A way to end the barbarity of a public hanging. Oh, so, so humane. What are you talking about? The electric chair. What? See, it's a chair full of electricity. It's quite fascinating. It calmly and peacefully dispatches the sinners uh, to face judgment. Yes, judgment. Yeah. Where mm. is it? Well, uh, it's in my laboratory. The next thing I need is a, a demonstration, a public one. Huh. Uh, do you know the police chief? Hmm? As well as anyone. Oh, wonderful. Perhaps you can encourage him to let me demonstrate the chair. It will help bring this town into the next century. Yes, could you do that? Excuse me, sir. Can I bother you for a minute of your time? All right. Can I tell you a little about what we're doing here? Sure. Less than a minute, I promise. Uh, we're trying to raise money to build an expansion to the Quincy Harris Memorial Hall, a shelter for homeless veterans and their families. Can you help? A donation of $20 would put us well on our way. Twenty dollars ain't no chicken feed, but sure, I can help you out. That's very kind. What is your name, sir? Arthur Morgan. Your donation will be acknowledged on a founder's plaque when the building is completed. You have a great day, Mr. Morgan. Well, good luck to you. Seems a worthwhile cause. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Thank you. Hey, 
Easy, easy. Evening. I tell you boys about Good evening, the Arthur. Oh, I think so. Tell us again. Sure. So I got caught doing something or other. I was just a kid, 17, 18, long before I met Dutch. I was newly an orphan. Anyway, I got caught by some hill country sheriff stealing a chicken, I think it was, and he decided I was going to be hanged for it. For a chicken? Yes. Only some folks thought it was unfair. <laughs> And at the hanging, there was a riot. Okay, they went to lynch me. But uh, someone I never saw, he shot the rope. Clean through. Instead, they hanged the sheriff. And I got away with nothing more than a sore neck. <laughs> well, was you scared? <laughs> Absolutely petrified. <laughs> <laughs> well, fair enough. <laughs> Have a nice evening. Evening, Arthur. That ambition will see you far. Thanks, Arthur. Just keep a calm head on your shoulders. Okay. Hosea. What's the latest on Jack? <sighs> Still working on it. Okay, well, let's talk more later. See you later. Hey. Good evening. If you're bored, there's always work to be done. I ain't bored. Just a suggestion. Catch up with you later. Good evening. Evening. You see miles away. I'm fine. Anyway, not my business, I guess. All right then, Arthur. It's gonna be okay. We'll find him. Well, go find him then. Just try to stay calm. 